Welcome to the presentation and demo on IBM Infosphere Test Data Management Solution for Oracle EBIS Suite. Organizations depend on critical applications to drive results. Many organizations are moving to agile methodologies to quickly deliver functionality and to gain market share. Effective and efficient testing strategies help organizations identify problems quickly and reduce risks. Testing in production is no longer an option. Incomplete or flawed test data results in inaccurate testing that can lead to application failure and business disruption. With so much test data to manage, your ultimate goal is to deliver reliable functionality to support operational best practices and stay competitive to generate revenue. The IBM Infosphere Optim test data management solution helps you opt optimize and automate processes that create and manage non-production environment data including testing, development and training environments. The key benefits include reduction of cost, speed delivery, create production-like environment and use a single scalable enterprise solution. The figure here represents an ideal extraction process. To the left is the production database from which Optim intelligently extracts data and stores it in the form of extract files and these extract files are inserted into target database. This in turn helps in easy maintenance of test environments and also creates targeted right size subsets faster and more efficiently than cloning. Now let's proceed to the product presentation. Before the extract and the insert process, let's have a look at the source and destination from the EBS Oracle application. Log into the EBS Oracle application at the source application by entering username as operations and password as welcome and click on the login button. From the source application have a look at the data that we are looking for extracting which we have selected for extraction. Here navigate and expand general ledger, vision operations USA, expand journals and click on enter. Click on the find button in the Find Journals window, the current screen shows the data in General Ledger from the source database for extraction process. Log into the EBS Oracle application, add the destination application by entering username as operations and password as welcome and click on the login button. Now from the destination application, navigate and expand General Ledger. Vision Operations USA, expand journals and click on enter. Click on the find button in the find journals window. The message will be displayed in the left side corner as query cost no records to be retrieved. General ledger should not contain any data in the destination database. Now we will see the extract, load and insert process from Core Optim. This is the Optim GUI. We will use Core Optim to perform the extract, insert and the load process. For the demo's purpose, we have already imported the gloptim export file. The optim export file or the OEF consists of access definition, extract requests, insert request and the load request. It also contains primary key, relationships and the table map. The identifier box displays the list of identifiers that serves as the prefix for object definitions. Let us have a look at the access definition editor window which describes a set of related data to be extracted. It is also used to manage and maintain the list of tables, relationships and to specify the selection criteria to extract. This is the tables tab. It displays the list of table names in access definition for extracting desired data. To create the table list we need to specify and add the start table and other tables like transaction tables, context tables and the reference tables. The rows in the start table are extracted first. In the table specifications column, the icons indicate selection criteria or other specifications for the tables. As you can see, there is an SQL icon in the table specification column. When we click on the SQL icon, it will display the SQL ta tab where an SQL where clause is specified for the table. We can have any business criteria specified against the table that defines the candidates for data extraction. It allows all types of SQL statements. This is the Relationships tab, which defines tables in the Parent Table column that relate to corresponding tables in the Child Table column. It also defines the traversal path for selecting data from tables referenced in an access definition. The Start Table and any reference tables listed on the Tables tab are always included in a process. 
Now let's explore the variables tab. We use the variables tab to assign variables for selection criteria or SQL statements and an access definition. Additionally, we can use any defined variables when creating extract or insert actions. By assigning variables, we can provide values for the variables each time the access definition is processed. As an option, we can also provide default values for variables. Let us have a quick understanding of the extract request editor window. The extract process copies a set of related rows from one or more tables and saves the rows to an external extract file. When we create an extract request, we need to specify the extract file name with extensions XF extract file, which contains the data we want to extract. We need to select the access definition options. It specifies the data we want to extract. Run the extract process by clicking on the run button. In variables window, we need to specify the value for the variables. For the demo's purpose, we enter 1 for the ledger ID, enter 1st January 1990 for the GL period start date, enter 31st December 2000 for the GL period end date, and click on OK button. The extraction process has started. Once the extract process is completed, the extract process report is generated. As you can see, the extract process is completed and the extract report is generated. In process report, it will display the extract file name and path. It will also display the time started and finished, tables process details, rows extracted, rows details with table name and extracted counts. Here, no rows have failed and process dis status is displaying with no errors and no warnings. We can view the data present in the extract file from the core optim. In the core optim, we need to navigate to utilities, browse, click on open icon, select the extract file with extension XF. Let us have a quick understanding of the load request editor window. The load process transforms the contents of an extract file into a format that is appropriate for a particular DBMS loader and then, if specified, starts the corresponding database load utility. When we create a load request in the source file, we need to select the extract file that contains the data we want to load. We need to mention the control file. This file is used during the process to track the success or failure of each row in the database based on rows in the source file. Here, we can select various modes to load the data to the destination table. Insert. Select this option to insert rows from source file into empty destination tables. Truncate. Select this option to delete all rows from the destination tables and load rows from the source file. Replace. Select this option to delete all rows from the destination tables and load rows from the source file. Append. Select this option to load rows from the source file into the destination tables. Truncate mode is quicker than the replace mode. Now let's have a quick understanding of the insert request editor window. We use insert process to copy related data saved in an extract file and insert the data into a destination database. When we create an insert request in the source file, we need to select the extract file that contains the data we want to insert. We need to mention the control file. This file is used during the process to track the success or failure of each row in the database, based on rows in the source file. Here, we can select various process options to insert the data to the destination table. Insert, select this option to insert rows into appropriate database tables. Mixed, select this option to update and insert rows into selected tables and insert rows into all other database tables. Update only, select this option to update rows into appropriate database tables. Update and insert, select this option to update and insert rows into appropriate database tables. We need to select the appropriate table map option to match the set of source tables to destination tables when we run a request. Run the insert process by clicking on the run button. Once the insert process is completed, the insert process report will be generated. The process report, it will display the source and the control file name. It will also display the time started and finished the table's process details, rows inserted or updated, 
rows details with table name and inserted or updated counts. Here, no rows have failed and process status is displaying with no errors and warnings. Now again, we will have a look at the destination from the EBS Oracle application after the extract and insert process. Log in into the EBS Oracle application at the destination application by entering username as operations and password as welcome and click on the login button. From the destination, navigate and expand General Ledger, Vision Operations USA, expand journals and click on enter. Click on the find button in the find journals window. The current screen shows the inserted data in the general ledger from target database after the insertion process. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you.